Hey there, simplifiers. Welcome back to our final organizing ABC. Yes, we've made it all the way through to the letter Z, and the letter Z is for zones. I know you've heard me say, give an item a home, put it back in its home, and you'll always be able to find it. Well, a zone is like a home for an activity. <laughs> You probably visit places that have been zoned out on a regular basis and you don't even realize it. Like a gym will have a weightlifting zone and a cardio zone, or a classroom will have a book bag zone and an art zone and a toy zone, or a grocery store will have a deli zone and a fresh meat zone. You probably even have places in your own home zoned out without even realizing it. Your bedroom has the sleeping zone where the bed is, and the closet zone where you keep your clothes. Zones become particularly important when you have rooms in your home that need to serve several different purposes. Just like with organizing items, when you wanna put like items together so that you can see how much you have and determine how much space you wanna to dedicate to it, the same should happen when you want to zone out a room for the different activities that you're going to do there. For instance, do you need a homework zone in your kitchen where your kids do their homework? You would need places for school supplies or maybe even their backpacks so that they could get their books out and probably access to power for a laptop or a tablet to be plugged in so they can do work on that if necessary. Or maybe you need a bill paying zone in your living room or family room, a place where you can keep your checkbook, the bills that need to be paid, maybe a book of stamps and some envelopes if that's how you do things, return address labels if you use those, or the big one that I help people with a lot is a drop zone when they come in the home. A lot of times the coat hooks are over here and the cabinet for the bags are over here and no one knows where everything is supposed to go and it's all in different places and it never seems to make it there. So instead create a drop zone where you have a cabinet for bags and a place for shoes and a hook for coats, maybe even a hook for dog leashes and bags for walks. The most important thing is to define that space as a place where that activity takes place. And then make sure that everything that you need to complete that activity is available in that defined space. Do you have multi-purpose room? That's hard to say. Do you have multi-purpose rooms in your home that need to be zoned out for different activities? If so, comment below and talk to me about what's going on there and what needs a defined space. Maybe we can work something out together so that we can make that space more defined and productive for you. And I wanna invite you to stop back by tomorrow to see my wrap up of SSS Veda, where I'll talk about my process, my journey, and my thoughts on vlogging every day for the month of August. And don't forget to subscribe so that next month you can watch all of my tips on organizing your family in case of an emergency. Happy organizing, stay simple, and I will see you tomorrow.